You know, it's been said over and over again, you should never be afraid to ask for help. And this can apply to so many different situations, especially when it comes to making decisions about your mortgage. Chatting with a professional can make a process that appears big and scary a whole lot easier. Del Marva Life's Katie Zerilli introduces us to one of those folks. As we approach the end of what's been a most unpredictable year, the housing market remains hot. We do expect to have low rates for a while, so things should remain pretty busy for the next um, year to year and a half. Scott Allen is a sales manager and loan originator with Friedmont Mortgage Group. He's been helping folks make sense of these big numbers since 1996. It's work he loves because no two clients are ever the same. Every client, there's different things, different ways of doing things, different programs for different people. That's why Scott says one of the biggest mistakes clients make when in the market for a mortgage loan is not shopping the different professionals and programs. They may have a 750 credit score, qualify for something better, but they're going to put them in an FHA because that's what they do. So uh, the best thing to do is make sure that you've talked to uh, two or three different mortgage professionals and let them kind of guide you, give you ideas uh, as to why you would qualify for this program instead of this program. In fact, give Scott a whiteboard in just a minute or two and you might end up wanting a 30-year fixed mortgage over 15. So my friend Scott here is also known as Wizard of the Whiteboard and Scott, you're going to show us why today. I'm going to do my best. I can't wait. What you got for us? Okay, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can make a 30-year fix, mm -hmm. pay your house off faster than a 15-year fixed. This is going to be wild. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait. Okay. Go ahead. So what do we have here? All right, what this basically says, and this is a hypothetical situation. Right. These aren't today's rates. Sure. These are just, you know, about where the rates are over the last few months. Sure. And um, actually, they're a little lower now, mm -hmm. but um, just for this scenario, I wanted yeah. to show you this. So you have $200,000 mortgage uh -huh. for 30 years at 3%. Your payment would be right around uh, 1050 That includes uh, tax and insurance, whatever. Sure. Um, on a 15-year fix at 25 you'd be at about 1500 Okay. On the 30-year on the fix, you'd be saving $450 a month. Sure. But at the end of 15 years, the 50, the, on the 15-year fix, you'd owe zero. Sure. At the end of 30 years, or at the end of 15 years on the 30-year fix, you would owe $114,000. Right. Now, I'm going to show you now why this scenario is better than that scenario. Which is going to blow my mind because right now this scenario is looking quite good. It is. <laughs> but watch this. Okay. All right, Scott, what's this all about here? If you take your savings of $450 per month and put it into an investment account, mm -hmm. a mutual fund is what, what I'd recommend. Uh, yeah. Matt Parker does a great job in Laurel, Delaware. Uh -huh. We'll put it in a mutual fund for you. If you earn 10%, only 10%, he's got great funds that, that earn more. For 15 years, that will yield $182,000. So then you take the 182. Take the 182 apply it to what you owe on your mortgage, and you've got money left over. Money left over? Yes, ma'am. Incredible. 30 years might be the way to go. 30 years to me looks better than a 15 year. It doesn't take a whiteboard for Scott to share this piece of wisdom. The mortgage amount you qualify for doesn't have to be the exact amount you pay. Maybe settle for a smaller home or a home that maybe is not as close to work or you know, just just something outside of a little bit of your comfort zone rather than strapping yourself and becoming cash poor um, for potentially 30 years. Because unfortunately, the house payment is where the bills begin. Once you qualify for a mortgage, what we don't take into consideration is you have to put gas in your car, you have to heat your home, you have to feed your family. Th those are the bills that we don't take into consideration when we're qualifying for a mortgage. That still has to happen. So whether they whip out a whiteboard or simply strike up a conversation, a meeting with a professional about a mortgage loan is a necessary step for a financially fit future. If you're looking to get in touch with Scott, uh, you can find his contact information on our website.